Question 1. 4 times 6 equals... You can pause the video here if you need longer to work out the answer. Question 2. In your book, draw a line from 0 to 1000 and mark 450 on it. Think of where the middle would be for 500. Again, pause it if you need more time. Question 3. Write an addition of two fractions that total 1. So both of these fractions, when added together, will give you the answer of being one whole one. Again, from now on, any time you need more time to answer the questions, just pause the video. Question 4. What is double 17? Question 5. 4 times 8 equals what? Or 8 times 4 equals what? Question 6. Which is nearer to 300? 422 or 299? Question 7. What is one third of 21? Another way of thinking about this is what times 3 gives you an answer of 21? Question 8. What is half of 38? Half the tens and then half the units and combine your two answers. Question 9. What is 36 divided by 4? Remember, this is the same as asking what times 4 is 36. Question 10. Draw a line from 0 to 1000 and mark 350 and 810 on it. Question 11. Which is larger? Double 16 or half of 60? Question 12. A tricky one. What is 3 quarters of 16? To find 3 quarters of a number, first of all find 1 quarter. So what times 4 equals 16? Once you know this, if you times that answer by 3, you will find out what 3 quarters of 16 is. So find out what 1 quarter is, what times 4 is 16, and then times that, by 3. Right, now get yourself a coloured pencil out and we'll mark the answers. So question 1, 24. 
Question two. Your number, 450, should be slightly less than halfway on your number line. Question three. Any of those examples is fine. Or similarly, two fifths plus three fifths or five sixths plus one sixth, anything like that. As long as the two top numbers, the numerators, add up to equal the same as the denominator, if both denominators are the same, which they do need to be. <clears throat> Double 17 is 34. 4 times 8 is 32. Which is nearer to 300? 420, 402 or 299? 299, obviously. What is 1 third of 21? 7. So 3 times 7 is 21. Half of 38 is 19. Half of 30 is 15. Half of 8 is 4. Add those two together and you get 19. Question 9. Half of uh, half. What is 36 divided by 4? 9. So 9 times 4 is 36. Right, on your number line, 350 and 810. So 810. Um, is kind of three quarters of the way along. As long as you've got it roughly near where those two flags are, I'm sure that will be fine. Double 16 is larger. Half of 60 is 30. Three quarters of 16 is 12. One quarter of 16 is 4, because four fours are 16. So one quarter is four, so three quarters would be four plus four plus four, or th four times three, so that would be 12. Give yourself a mark out of 12. Well done, hopefully.